Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am MeadZ69, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the standard B, uh, the new tier 9 Italian tech tree tank. And this is my favorite tank of the whole line. It is fantastic when played correctly. Now, it's basically a leopard, it's basically an auto reloading leopard. It has no armor whatsoever. 60 millimeters on the front of your turret is the best that you are going to get on this tank now the dpm is 2349 it has obviously of course three shells in its magazine with three seconds between each shell now shell one is 8.15 seconds shell two 7.24 and shell three 5.48 and remember you are shooting the shell three first so shell three if you add the three seconds intra clip is actually an 8.43 so it takes longer shooting just the first shell than it does just the third shell just like the Pajero, uh in tier 10 but of course if you play it like that you haven't if you play just the the last shell you haven't got two other shells in your in your uh, magazine so again if you can do reload the, the whole magazine um but it, it, again it depends on what's happening in the game if there's tanks right in front of you, then yes, you can just release your clip and then just shoot the last remaining shell. Uh, as I've said, three shells. Now, this is where it starts getting interesting. The APCR is 252 millimeters. The heat, 325 millimeters of, H, of heat pen. Uh, I am running calibrated shells because, the, because of the HE. It has 116 HE pen. It's glorious. It is really, really nice. Um, don't be afraid to use HE. We're going to show you three battles. Uh, the last one is from Jan, uh, and he doesn't use any HE. I don't think he's aware of actually how good the HE is. APCR, 350 damage. Heat, 300, and the HE does 400 damage. Aim time, 3.4, and the dispersion, 0.285, which is, which is pretty good. Uh, along with 10 degrees of gun depression, and you go 40, 58 kilometers per hour. So we've got three battles for you today, so we are going to get straight into uh, the battles. Um... I'm on Dead Rail, so this is one of my first games. It's not my first game, I think it was my second game. It, I don't think it was my first game, or was it? No, it wasn't my first game. Uh, so we're going to push the left side. We've got three mediums against two mediums on the enemy team, uh, but all of our team decide to come this way. Uh, so I'm thinking, fantastic, great, like, sarcastic. Um, but it actually turns out really, really good that they did decide to come this way. So we've spotted the E50. We've already took a shot on the E50. There is also a T50 Mod 4 Mod 1 there who takes a shot on me. And an ISU-152 sitting at the back. So it's actually a pretty good job my team come with me. Uh, however, the enemy are capping base A. So they've got a couple of heavies down there or maybe one heavy that is capping the base. Uh, we take a nasty shot there from the T28 prot. We do get a shot back into him. And as you can see, if we can have a shot, we are going to take it. And we're on 1,300 damage. Now I am on a long reload. Uh, we've re reloaded one shell. Uh, I do need to be careful, though, because there is another TD that I have no idea where he is. And unlucky for this E50, he gets tracked, which allows me to get a shot into him. And I get a nice second shot into him. I'm going to back up, and this is where I'm actually going to get wrecked by the enemy WZ, uh, the Tier 8 Chinese tank destroyer. So we managed to get a shot there on the E50. Our T54 does take him out. But now I need to be very careful, because there's still six tanks left alive, and I'm pretty much a one shot to any tank on the enemy team so there goes the isu which is gives us a little bit of a breathing space knowing he's not there but i still am aware that the wz is back there so i don't want to just poke out i am spotted but the t54 mod one decides to do a little yolo run and potentially that cost the enemy the game but now i have a motion coming behind me i have no choice but to move out the way and just hope that the wz is not looking at me so the t28 prot he is getting taken care of by my enemy uh, by my team and we are now going to search for this wz now this is the funny part just watch this and i'm going to upset this wz uh, i'm going to upset 
set him like big time. And I do kind of feel sorry for him, not really. So we're gonna come around here and I know he was around this area. So as we come around, we have three shells locked and loaded. We managed to get behind him, one HE, 440. Three seconds later, another HE, 391. And another three seconds later, he is gone. Full hit points and even watch the chat now. What the fuck? Whatever that means. And then he is also going to um, report me. Yes, he is. He is going to report me for wrecking him and ruining his day. Uh, I enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, not really. Uh, so we're now on 4.8k damage thanks to that WZ uh, Z who allowed us to take every single one of his hit points. And that is pretty much all we're going to... We're not going to get another shot. We do finish on three kills. Uh, 5,100 damage. And I was actually shocked... Uh, to see that was only a first class. We do make nice credits though, 46,000 credits, 1,264 base XP. Now I played this straight away, straight in the morning I played this, so I was quite shocked to see that was only a first class. So we move on to the next battle, and again it is myself, and we are on a Canyon. Uh, it is against tier 8, and we are going to push the middle. Of course, we do need to be careful when we push the middle, because we've got no armour on our turret, so we can be HE penned from almost anything. Uh, so if you do come up against one of these, just load the HE, because you're going to penetrate it uh, all day long. So we're going to poke up here. We don't want to poke up too far. We are spotted, so we do get that one shot in on the Waffle. 395 damage, and now... These two tanks here, they decide to push with me, which I was a little bit upset. I mean, I mean they're doing a good job in the middle. Um, maybe for the Conqueror, because he has he has a strong turret. Um, but this AMX 5120, uh, I didn't want... I mean, this is a good position. This is a fantastic position. But it's not a great position when every single one of your team comes to this position. Uh, so luckily the AMX decides to uh, wander off and now we're going to get again, we're going to get upset because this AMX 13190, uh, he flanks around and considering there is all of these tanks around, he decides to go for me. So I'm thinking, you know what mate, I am not having this. I am not being bullied by a light tank at all. I mean, all these tanks he could have chose to shoot, he shoots me. So... I'm now going to ignore the other five tanks and I am going to hunt him down. I want his ass. You want to focus me? Now, how do you feel about getting focused, Sunshine? You are now going to be dead meat. So, we do take him out just now. Goodbye. That's what happens when you want to focus me. Now, I get focused all the time. Being a YouTuber, I get focused all the time. I could be in a mouse. I could be lined up in a mouse and... Either side of me could be six grills. They will go for me. People will try and go for me. Because I'm meaty, I'm a YouTuber, they want to kill me. That is just the life I live in when I play the game. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I've got used to it. It does annoy me, but you've just got to deal with it. You know, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to make videos, and this is the outcome. Uh, so you do have to sort of change your game style, change your uh, how you play, not be so aggressive, which sucks for me because I am such an aggressive player um, but I sometimes I die pretty quickly because of it and I need to change how I play I really do need to change how I play because of now I've got over nearly 22,000 subs uh, I can't play as as aggressive as I would like so I just need to sort of be patient which I really am not good at so this battle, we take away the SU-152 and it now just leaves the enemy waffle. So we can just splash him with HE into his rear, leaving him on a one shot and we don't get the kill, but it's 7-0. Uh, we do end up on an ace at 4,500 damage. Again, we make nice credits, 47,000 credits, and we get 1,474 base XP, which is not bad considering seven tanks were left alive on my team. And that's pretty much enough to ace any tier 9 tank in the game. And probably most tier 10s. So we did a pretty good job there. Uh, next up we have Winter. We're on Winter Malinovka. And we are watching Jan. And this battle I was literally like. Bruh. What are you doing? 
and I was shouting at my screen just for him to to use a bit of HE. Uh, I'm not even sure how many HE he has uh, loaded, but this battle he literally shoots nothing. Uh, RNG at the I mean half of this battle is all RNG based, and most of it doesn't go uh, towards him it actually goes against him but he brings it back and he actually has a fantastic battle so he's now on 700 hit points he is he's taken the bat chat down to a one shot and he now rushes forward he's going to take the bat chat out for his first kill and now he has uh, the two tanks left uh, uh, to the left of him which is the lightweight and the uh let's wait and i can't remember what it is the tier eight uh, the pantera so he gets shot from the Pantera. He's at the moment he hasn't done a great hit point trade. I mean he's lost nearly, nearly half of his hit points, and he has just a thousand damage. So in these situations, the side of a lightweight, you can use HE. Use the HE. Uh, even now, like the rear of, of a lightweight, there is no HE being used. Now. He's going to now leave the lightweight thinking that he's going to be dealt with by one of his teammates. I mean, there's two other tanks around there. There is a medium tank uh, around and there's a TD that is pretty much in the middle. And he's gone to chase the Pantera, the P44 Pantera, which I will be doing a video for tomorrow. Um, so now he's game. There is one tank down. He's going to now he's... These parts are not RNG. These are human error mistakes that he shouldn't really be making. Uh, so that's a miss on the Pantera, a miss on the T-54 Lightweight. And now he has the long reload. So he's got one shell, two shells now, and he's still chasing the Pantera. Uh, again, he only gets the track. A uh, bit of RNG against him there. And he's now only got one shell reloaded. So he's going to chase the Pantera with his team around him. He's now got two shells left. And at the moment, I'm screaming, don't shoot just yet. Wait for the third one. He does. He gets a shot there. But again, he should be using HE into the rear of a tank that has no armor. You should be using HE. So nevertheless, he's still got a kill and he's still on 2.5k damage. The Pantera just runs along and again he gets the track how unlucky has his uh, rng been at the moment eventually he does manage to take him out so he's now on 700 hit points he's uh 2700 damage and it is three against five there is a couple of low hit point tanks but this is again where human error is going to come into it and he's not taking his time he misses the first shot there on the m103 Misses the second shot there on the M103. So now he has no shells in his magazine. The tank on his team, which is the T, uh, T34, he's going to die very quickly or very soon. There he goes, and it's now a two on five. There is a three. There is three tanks that is one shot, so anything is possible. And finally, some RNG, some good aiming comes his way and he takes out the m103 so he's now on three kills and three thousand damage and this is where he is going to start changing uh, and start doing a lot better shots than he has been doing so he spotted the rhm and actually he is going to use a he there he only has nine he loaded he only has nine he i would at least double that man at least double that um he finally takes out that T-54 Lightweight who he should have took out a long time ago. And it's, he's now bringing it down to a 2 versus 2. However, there is a full hit point E-75. His waffle is a one shot. He's now flanking around. He's reloading. He's got two shells reloaded. Just about have the third shot. And he needs to take out the T-34 who is low hit points. And then hopefully two of them can deal with an E-75 uh, together. So... He's going to ignore the E75, which again, which is the great, great decision. One shot there, 347 damage, and he gets the second shot in and kills the T34, putting him on 4,000 damage and six kills. Is he going to get the Rosani medal? Let's wait and see. There's still a lot of work to do. There's still one minute 50 left, but there is still a full hit point E75 to deal with. Now, he needs to keep this waffle alive. He can actually take a shot from the E75. 
Uh, and again, now he's loading hit onto the side, which I don't blame him because he didn't know that the he, he had the side of the turret. And he releases all three shells into the E75. And now he's just going to YOLO forward. Uh, he could probably deal with this E75. The waffle gets one shot. Now he needs to aim and he needs to get. And that is exactly what he does. Very well played in the end there. A uh, bit of a funny battle. It was a hit and miss. Uh, but he ended up on seven kills, 5,100 damage. So thank you very much for sending me that in Jan. That is the standard B, my favourite tank in the line by far, and it's definitely worth grinding. Use the HE, guys. Use the HE as much as you can. It's better than you think. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm EG69, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.